hi guys welcome back to another video and thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are doing amazing and we're gonna get straight into this video so as you can see i am using my red iguana hand i already glued on my tips so what you want to do first is push back the cuticle remove the shine from the natural nail bed and size up your tips which i already did and glued them on and then you want to shape the tips to the desired shape and so this is a fall set that I am doing. I haven't really been doing too much of these, but this one I really got into it and I loved how they came out. Um, so here on the ring finger is just gonna be a nude and the color that I'm using is Cover Nude Blush from Mia Secret. It's a very beautiful color as you can see. And I was having trouble here when I recorded this video. I think it was over 100 degrees, so it was really warm. I did have my AC on, but I had just turned it on, so it wasn't cool enough. So as you were able to see, the bead did dry up fairly quickly on me. But then um, on the other nails, I did start getting the hang of it. It started cooling down a little bit. So yeah, this ring finger is just going to be all nude. And I normally, what I like to do is use the three bead method. That's the one that works for me and it helps me and it helps build up my apex so i do love the three bead method let me know down in the comments below what method works for you and i am using my brush from jc beauty concepts which i absolutely love it's so light and it's rose gold which i absolutely love and so now we're going to move on to the middle finger here i'm just going to create a extended nail bed i'm also using that color from mia secret which is a cover nude blush and normally i just start start off with like a medium to large size bead and then i just shape it to my desired shape and then i use just another bead for the cuticle area now here we're just going to make like a french nail but with the color tequila sunrise i believe it's called from igel beauty which you'll see later on in the video and then i believe the monomer that i'm using is from mia secret it's usually the only one that i use and i'll make sure to leave all the links in the description box down below just in case you guys are interested i also do put down my um, discount codes that i have right now the discount codes that i have are from uh, gg nail art which she sells like water decals and you guys can follow her on instagram and I also have a discount code for Double Dip Nails. Um, their system is, you can use it with monomer or you can use it as dipping powder if that's what you're into. But again, I'll leave all, those, all that information in the description box below. All right, so now we are gonna move on to the index finger and this is just gonna be an ombre. And this is a tequila sunrise that I was talking about and I absolutely love this color, especially right now for the fall. I'm not really an orangey type of person, but this one is a really pretty color. And so I just put that very first bead right where like the natural nail bed and the nail tip meet. And then um, I just gently, you know, brushed it down. And now to make the ombre, I did take that same cover nude blush from Mia Secret. And to do the ombre, I usually grab like a wetter bead so I can get one a seamless uh, blend, as you can see. Well, I think it's it came out okay. <laughs> I still, um, I don't struggle with the ombre, but I'm still trying to perfect it. You know, I'm, I'm always practicing to try to get it right. And then... Um, so here I'm just making that French tip. So I am gonna use that color from Sunrise. I'm sorry, I'm gonna use the color from Igel Beauty, which is a Tequila Sunrise. And I'm just gonna apply a very thin layer because on top of it, I'm gonna use the 24 karat, which this one, this one actually reminds me of the, of the foil, the gold foil, but just in like, in acrylic. So I actually love how it turned out. So now I'm just applying it on top of that Tequila Sunrise color. And then I'm gonna use that 24 karat for the pinky and that's gonna be the whole nail that I'm gonna, gonna use it for. And I don't know if I told you guys just a few seconds ago, but the 24 karat is also from iGel Beauty. My mind doesn't work like it used to, guys. My memory is like not there anymore. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna use this 24 karat to cover that whole pinky.
Okay, so now I'm moving back to the index finger and I'm just taking my clear powder, which is also from iGel Beauty, and I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate that ombre because when it comes down to filing, you don't want to file your ombre away, so you want to keep that covered with that clear. And then I'm also going to move on to the ring finger, which I'm also going to go ahead and encapsulate that carrot gold in that tequila sunrise. And then I also believe I encapsulate the pinky because you don't want to file away your gold glitter. Um, you want to protect your design. And one thing that I did want to mention that I usually forget to do is normally when I do the extended nail bed, I forget to do this. So once you put down your bead and you've shaped it into the shape that you want it, you should take a file and just go ahead and shape around it just so it could be nice and crisp um i didn't do that so mine didn't really come out so crispy looking i guess you can say so yeah don't forget to do that when you guys do your extended nail bed it comes looking a lot cleaner All right, so now that I encapsulated all the nails that I needed to, we're going to move on to filing. And the filing portion, I don't really ever put in my videos only because I use my practice hand. Um, I don't glue down my tips, so I have to hold it a certain way. And it gets kind of like tedious or, you know, kind of hard to file. Um, so yeah, I just like to use this uh, tapered barrel and I think it's a medium grit size bit. And if I can find it, I'll leave it in the description box below, but I did get it from Amazon. And usually what I like to do is just start off with my sides, uh, make sure that they're parallel with my nail bed line, if that makes sense, and file those down. I don't like for them to be bulky on the side. And then I just go around the cuticle and then also get that shape, the, the C curve. And then also what i like to do is just grab the finger and point it towards me and instead of going side to side i like to file down towards me to make sure that um, everything is nice and even Now moving on to the middle finger, this one I am going to have to do a little bit more filing at the top because when I created the extended nail bed, I did create it a little bit thicker um, just to make sure that I had enough, um, I guess, enough height for the apex and to put on um, the 24 karat and the, and the tequila sunrise down too. So it's better to do it a little bit higher than it be too thin if you know what i mean because i also had to encapsulate it so i am gonna do a little bit of more filing here just to make sure that everything is evened out i hope that makes sense you guys if it doesn't i'm sorry um but if you do have any questions you guys know that i um you guys can leave your questions down in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to try to explain it a little bit better <laughs>
Okay, so now that I'm done filing with my e-file, I do like to go in next with a file to um, shape my nails. And this is an 80 grit file and the files that I use are peel and stick like the Tammy Taylor ones, I guess you can um, compare them to. Um, these I got them from, oh, I can't remember the website. But um, I just do want to, the reason that I don't really post this on the description box is, be, description box is because they are kind of flimsy, not too bad. I mean, I don't, it doesn't bother me um, and I actually like them, but that's the only reason why I don't put them there. Not that I wouldn't recommend them or anything like that, but some people prefer it to be not flimsy. So, but if you guys are interested, I can, you guys can let me know and I'll be more than happy to give you the website. Um, I just can't think of it right now. But yeah, it's an 80 grit file and then I just make sure that I'm keeping my file at a 90 degree angle, keeping it as straight as possible and I do go underneath the nail and then um, I go back and forth um, from sidewall to sidewall just to make sure that it's, it's nice and straight and then I go in the front towards the um, the free edge and also make sure that I'm holding my file at a 90 degree angle just so that I can get that that perfect shape. Okay, so now that I'm done filing, um, these are what the nails are looking like. We're gonna move on to the ring finger to do the 3D flowers. I love the colors, I love the color combination, and the shaping looks pretty good. Um, so before I get into the 3D flowers, I am gonna um, glue a rhinestone, and then I'm gonna work our way around that rhinestone and creating the 3D flowers. And so I used a resin from Mia's Secret. I do like the glue. I don't normally use it. I normally use a uh, gel glue, the one that you have to cure in the lamp. But I just decided to use this one since it's been sitting there for a while now. And then um, what I did forget to do is do the apply the matte top coat on the nail first. So I'm glad I caught it now rather than later. So what I'm doing here is just um, matting it. And the one that I use is from Koopa. Um, so now I'm just going to take my brush and dip it in a little bit of monomer and pick up my bead. And then I just wait a little bit for it to dry up before I start molding it into the petal. Now while I was doing these 3D flowers, um, if you guys know, 3D is not my thing, but I still try. <laughs> um, but I did realize that after doing a couple of flowers, not to put the bead too close to the rhinestone because it starts flowing towards it and i noticed that it was going all over my rhinestone uh the acrylic so what i did further on and with the other flowers is i put it a little bit away tr from the rhinestone and then just gently pushed it towards it once it started drying up a little bit but yeah just don't put it too close and these flowers i am i think i'm getting better at it um I don't practice as much as I should, but I have been. So I, I really like how these flowers came out, came out. And like I said, I love the orange, so they came out really pretty. Overall, I like how this set came out. It came out really cute. Um, and I would normally would do these on my own, but I just don't think that I would be able to do my non-dominant hand. So, but yeah, so I'm going to do it don't how many do i do i think i do like three or four flowers i don't cover the whole nail 
so i'm just gonna let you guys watch from here i think i only show you two of those flowers on how i do them i don't think i show you all of them so keep watching and then we're gonna move on to the final results all right so we're back so yeah i just showed you guys how to do two of them i may or may not do a video out a full video on how i do the 3d flowers i don't know it's up to you guys if you guys want to watch something like that but um so now i'm just gonna go ahead and apply the uh the matte top coat on that index finger and then on the middle finger i'm gonna do the shiny uh, coat which is from kiara sky and also the pinky um, like I mentioned earlier, the matte coat that I used on the ring finger and the index finger is from Koopa. Alright guys, so we are at the end of this video and I absolutely love how these nails turned out. I love the 24 karat gold and I love that tequila sunrise. Please let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. And if you guys love this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye!